Today on Engineering Newswire, we're working with the world's smallest wrench, crossing the Pacific in an autonomous wave rider and creating a humanoid robot that can walk, talk, and act. The Pac-X glider, Papa Mao, just completed its journey of 9,000 nautical miles across the Pacific Ocean, setting a new world record for the longest distance traveled by an autonomous vehicle. The Liquid Robotics Glider is one of four autonomous data collection robots traveling from San Francisco to either Australia or Japan. Braving everything from gale force storms to electronics hungry sharks, Papa Mao navigated along a prescribed route under autonomous control, collecting and transmitting real-time, high-resolution ocean data. This data is important to many countries with substantial shoreline and environmental interests. Without human intervention, this wave glider traveled for more than a year, demonstrating the endurance of design and igniting imaginations about what can be discovered and explored when the ocean is networked with sensors. This little craft is ushering in a new age of ocean exploration and taking on the final celestial frontier. Eh? Is that tricky enough to warn another teleport? Yeah? Yeah! Physicists at the University of Texas at Arlington have developed the fiber optic equivalent of the world's smallest wrench. This virtual tool can precisely twist and turn the tiniest of particles, from living cells and DNA to microscopic motors and dynamos used in biological and physical research. The optical fibers use laser beams to first trap an object and then hold it in place. By slightly offsetting the optical fibers, the beams are able to impart a small twisting force which can cause the object to rotate in place. The technique works best when rotating single cells to determine if they are normal or cancerous, to help examine embryos to aid in in vitro fertilization, to mix or pump the fluids in lab-on-chip devices, and to move and rotate microspheres attached to the opposite ends of a DNA strand to stretch and uncoil the molecule, allowing it to be sequenced more efficiently. Finally, a new tool my father has yet to own, and just in time for the holiday season, because that's all he needs, another tool he never uses. Robothespian is a life-size, programmable, humanoid robot designed to talk, sing, he even recites Shakespeare, thus the pretentious name. Engineered Arts, the Dr. Lanning to Robothespian Sonny, is currently at work on the next generation humanoid dynamic robot that can walk, run, and jump, further proof that Shakespeare alone fails to resonate with today's youth. Playing a critical, critical role in the modeling and design of RT's balance and walking act is MapleSoft's MapleSim 6 software, which is being used to design a biologically analogous humanoid robot leg by integrating a novel actuator, studying its static and dynamic stability, and building the leg to determine strategies for its control. Just check out this animation that shows a single leg hopping. The complex model was generated in MapleSim 6 and shows seven interdependent muscles being controlled to produce the hopping motion. The design is similar to the human musculoskeletal system, and unlike conventional robots, actuated by electric motors. The Robothespian project hopes to make humans think more deeply about humanoid robotics and artificial intelligence. As long as we get one thing straight, RT, remember rule number one. A robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. California-based Eros has almost completed its dirigible airship prototype. This new breed of variable buoyancy aircraft promises to revolutionize airship technology with its new cargo handling technology, minimal fuel consumption, vertical takeoff and landing, and point-to-point -point delivery. The oddball aircraft combines mechanical and aerospace technologies and is controlled by a buoyancy management system. Automatic flight control systems give it equilibrium in all flight modes and allow it to adjust helium pressurized envelopes depending on the buoyancy requirements. Built with a rigid structure, the Aeros craft can control lift at all stages with its vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and carry maximum payload while in hover. What makes it different from other vehicles is that it doesn't need a runway or ground infrastructure. Now while Eros promises a new and radical design with their prototype, let's hope it doesn't experience the not-so-happy ending we've seen in the past. 
The new robotic startup Sci-Fi Works, brought to us by iRobot co-founder Helen Grainer, is coming out with a pair of stealth mode unmanned aerial robots, a quadrotor dubbed Park, and the Extreme Access System for Entry, or Ease. Ease is a small hovering robot with a ducted fan designed for inspection, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance applications. As you can see, it's intended for operating in close quarters, beyond line of sight, and in GPS denied areas, all of which are critical when performing search and rescue missions, building clearing, or civil infrastructure inspection. A patented microfilament technology enables it to use hot swappable batteries, which power the entire system from the base station while also providing direct communication between the ground control station and the air vehicle. Unlike all other RF controlled systems, the microfilament makes the ease impervious to jamming and yet remains unaffected by water and power lines. Because of the direct connection, its communications cannot be intercepted, spoofed, or otherwise compromised from a data security perspective. From an autonomous vacuum cleaner to a civil defense unmanned area vehicle? Not bad, Ms. Grainer. Not bad at all. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.